Hello, it is I, Skeleton of Chaos. Today I'm here to make a tutorial on how to set up effective arrows for the bucket server. Um, it's just come to my attention that some people were having a little bit of difficulty getting uh, the plugin working on the first scale. So um, I'm just here to make a little tutorial video to show you how to um, do that. So now the first thing you need for effective arrows is you need the spout server plugin. And you need the latest version of it. If you're using an old version, it will not work. So you can just go to the Spout homepage and download the spout.jar file like I just did. So now you also need the um, effective arrow download jar thing. So you can download that as well. So now you also need a super permissions handler. Um, you can use whatever permissions handler you like, but it cannot be permissions um, or like group manager or something like that because they, uh, they're they not super permissions. They're just some old normal permission files, file plugin things. Uh, so you have to use a super permission manager. Uh, I like B permissions. It's nice. It's very easy. It has uh, multi-world support, uh, which it kind of says right there. So now, if you come down on uh, the B permissions page, you'll say it's confirmed incompatibilities with Spout. And then it says all but the latest version. This is why you need to make sure you have the latest version of Spout. Otherwise, this plugin is literally just a waste of time and space. So now you go up, you drag the Spout.jar. Now, I already have these, so I'm just going to replace them all the effective arrows that jar and the b permissions that jar okay so as of the moment you're now done with the bucket window and you can just close that down so now the first time you launch your server you have to do the launch server and this will generate all the necessary files for all of the plugins so i have a lot of stuff running on the server so it does take a couple of seconds Okay. So then you stop your server. And this will come down. And if you look in your plugin, uh, B permissions, wherever B permissions may be. Hold on, just I'm just going to arrange these by name so it's a little bit easier. Okay, so B permissions has generated its own permission file. Effective arrows has generated its own file. Now in here is the config file. You can um, edit whatever you want. There's GUI X, GUI Y. You can edit just about everything that um, that's in there so far. So, oh, shoot. Um, turns out I forgot to delete my config file, which I give people heck about that because you have to delete your config file every single time you update effective arrows. That's a little bit of a pain, but it does allow me to give you some uh, new features, and that's why you have to update that, because if you didn't update that, you start getting like null pointer exceptions and a bunch of other stuff. So, okay. So I now updated the uh, config file. Don't know why it's still putting timer there. So, like I said, just make sure you delete the config file. So everything has its uh, features as of the moment. So, now I'm making it so when you log into a server, you default to default. So now this, it is kind of messy here, so try to bear with me. But you have to start your server, and you have to use whatever Minecraft version launcher you use to um, log into your server. I use the Spoutcraft launcher. And then you join, and you come here. Um, yeah, it's just a little. So now, a lot of people will notice that when I left click, now the server is completely screwed over. I'm going to disconnect here in a couple of seconds due to uh, infinite loop. But you just had to log in. You didn't have to left click. So now if you come over here, you'll see the server doesn't respond to anything because it's too busy going around in circles. So force quit that. That's done. Done. So anyways, now you go to plugins. You go to your B permissions, and now that you've logged in, 
you see default groups and default players and it's just finally figured out that it actually needs to load these so now you do something like default and then you have to make sure every group has at least one arrow permission so effective arrow dot use dot normal and then I'm going to do a effective arrow dot use dot smoke so then you close that save it yada 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 and hold on just um, okay that was my complete mistake I'm sorry about that you are not supposed to have the double quotes that I put in that's just uh, Java programming coming back to bite me I feel that all text needs to have double quotes around it okay so now when you launch your server slash your spoutcraft launcher or minecraft launcher or whatever you're using so you log in quick join and okay my world guard world guard is messing up um well that's always fun okay but anyways that's irrelevant so now when i left click i just since i have only have the permissions for normal and smoke if you look at my little gui in the left hand corner normal smoke normal smoke normal smoke normal smoke normal smoke normal so that's all there really is to set up if you do it right this plugin is very nice it lets you do many interesting things with arrows that you couldn't but if you set it up wrong it's just a completely crashes and messes everything up now for those of you updating from version 2.2 .2 to version 2.3 you have to make sure that you give yourself the effective arrow.use.star node if you are an op because I've just finished removing op support so that way everything is based on permission files and this way you have um, it's so that's why you're getting a couple of errors because you just don't have the effective error that use that star command node permission node thing but um because in 2.3 i completely removed op support and if you didn't set it up right in 2.2 and you're an op it would still work fine but now you must set it up correctly and so that's all you really have to do to get this plugin to work correctly you can use any super permission handler and I mean, and last but not least, I'm just going to show you the new smoke arrow that I added in version 2.1 because I don't have a tutorial video of it yet. By default, it takes one, uh, whoops, that was normal. By default, it takes one uh, gunpowder, but just emits a nice little smoke cloud. So it's kind of neat in PvP when you're going in and you ambush and there's just clouds of smoke it really messes with people um, it's actually a lot more use in PvP than I thought it would be but um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy this plugin and uh, I hope this uh, helps you set it up correctly so I guess we'll see you guys later